Hello and welcome to Improve Your Voice. My name is Darren McStay and today we're going to look at exercises for your voice that are going to help enhance it very quickly straight away. Let's get into it. So these are things that I've gone over in different videos in different ways but they're simple ideas that you can adjust yourself in the moment to have instant results that will enhance your voice. First one we're going to look at is posture and lengthening. So the way you stand and the way you hold yourself really has an effect on the sound that your body makes. Okay, your instrument, your body, the way that it stands, the way you hold yourself has a direct impact on the sound that you're able to make. And if you find that you're hunched over or someone that works often sitting down in the day and you get to perform at night, so you're then standing up, you might want to do some adjustments to the way you hold your body because Sometimes in this day and age our shoulders seem to roll forward and we've become very tense in the front of our bodies and, and uh, very weak in the back of our bodies and so our bodies are shaped different to what they should be. So when you start to adjust your posture and consider your posture, immediately you will find that the airflow is better and your voice will be easier to use. So this will help with vocal strain, this will help just create a fuller, richer sound. So what we're going to do in order to kind of um, consider our posture, which we can do instantly, is to think about this point here, this is the sternum, in between where your ribs meet at the top in the middle of your chest. And if you think that this um, often sinks down and it seems to be low and we're, we're rolling forward. If you imagine there's a string attached to this point called the sternum right here in the center that's pulling up to the ceiling. Now if you pull this up without moving anything else, just lift this up, then what happens is your shoulders seem to come up, back, and when you, they do that and your head is up, you just relax your shoulders down and breathe out. <sighs> breathe in. You might notice that your breath feels weird now because you've just changed the shape of your body. But this is the first part. If we can pull this up, imagine this is up. Keep your sternum high, okay? And this will bring your shoulders back and relax them down. Now, the second part to this is to imagine you also have one on the top of your head right here, okay? And you pull that up also at the same time. It might feel a bit weird, but this is just uh, helping you to align your uh, body into a better place for your instrument to perform. So then, again, relax, breathe out. We also want to tuck our pelvis under and lean forward on our feet so the weight is evenly spread across our toes, heels, side of each foot. If we can keep our feet parallel under our hips, um, facing forward, that's even better. So I don't know if you've noticed, but my voice seems to have dropped a little bit just by adjusting my posture, and I'm sitting down. So this can be done sitting down or standing up. I also noticed that I'm getting a cold, so that might have had an effect on the depth of my voice. But nevertheless, this is something that uh, opera singers will always stand by, is that posture is very key. So think about this sternum, your head, leaning all your weight onto your feet, and just relaxing, breathing out, letting everything go from there but holding that place. And this will have an instant result on your voice and help your instrument to flow more freely. Now, this is all very well and good, having, uh, uh, like pushing yourself into a new posture, but again, your body isn't, may have bad habits that are pulling it in a different direction, so it might feel awkward and odd. So one of the things you can do to combat that is to, um, over time, uh, think about lengthening or you know what's commonly known as stretching. So the, the front of your legs, um, you could do some work on stretching the hamstrings and the thigh muscles, stretching the, the top front of the legs. But also you could do some glute work, like walking up some stairs or doing some squats. And if you're someone who goes to the gym, you could do more rows and less push-ups. So things that strengthen the back and lengthen the front is a good idea. But also something that you could do right now and in the instant is to work on your neck. So your neck holds a lot of muscles and within that is your throat and within your throat is the voice box which has lots of things that are useful <laughs> for you to create sound with. And so if you want to do something instantly that's going to help, you could literally just lengthen the sides of your neck. So I'm not pulling my head, I'm just tilting it to the side and letting the weight of my arm just gently direct it down. So we want to feel some length 
happening in here. A little bit of stretching. You could do that for as long as you have, but I'd suggest a couple of minutes. And you want to do that both sides, roughly the same. Always remember to breathe. Breathe into this as you feel the lengthening happen, as you feel that stretch. Breathing in and letting go as you breathe out. And then the third part is to do it forwards. These are another thing that you can do very quickly and that are very useful to helping changing and enhancing the sound of your voice very quickly. The next one I'm going to talk about is grounding. Now when I say grounding, I mean earthing yourself. I literally mean planting your feet flat on the floor, not moving around, not standing on your toes or the sides of your foot or your heels. Trying to plant, as we said before with your posture, your feet grounded, flat on the floor, and practice breathing. Now I've talked about this in other videos in different ways, but uh, in this instance for your grounding, I want you to practice concentrating on your breath. So you can take a minute just to close your eyes and visualize your breath. I want you to relax your belly, relax your shoulders, relax everything else, and just visualize how your breath feels in your body, okay? Now after a few seconds, when you feel where the air seems to be uh, going, I want you to try and uh, imagine that your torso is a box. Now a box has six sides. So it's the two ends, the sides, and the top and the bottom. So it's deep, wide, and long. So we think of the length as being between, say, your neck and your pelvis. If, when you're breathing, you imagine that that is getting longer, breathing in, then breathing out, getting longer still. Breathe in, gets longer, breathe out, gets longer still. And then if you can imagine the sides of the box, then you breathe in, it gets wider, breathe out, it gets wider again. Breathe in, it gets wider, breathe out, it gets wider still. Now I'm only making a noise with my air, just to give you an example, but I don't want you to do this noisily, I want you to do it quietly, so like this. breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now, there's also the depth of the box, so from the front to the back. And if you can imagine now that you're breathing in, it gets deeper, and as you breathe out, it gets breathe deeper again. Breathe in, gets deeper, breathe out, gets deeper. So once you've done that, um, say five rounds on each, you can then imagine the whole box expanding at the same time. I've done this before with a balloon idea, but now I'm breaking it down a bit more. So you can breathe in, imagine all sides of the box, the top, the bottom, the sides, and the depth getting bigger. As you breathe out, it gets bigger again. Breathe in, feet flat on the floor, breathe out, through your mouth, it gets bigger again. If you can do that four or five times also. This little exercise will help ground you, it'll bring you down to earth, it'll help feed your body with nutrients from the oxygen in the air which you need, and it will help settle you. Now this is gonna help you with your voice, A, because you've just done a breathing exercise, which is gonna help the air drop into the part of the body naturally that you want it to as a speaker or a singer. But also it's gonna help reset your mind. So you'll feel a bit more present, more in the moment, and then able to perform much better. Lastly, if you're speaking or singing and you're not, you haven't had much time to warm up and you wanna just kind of make things a little bit better, the last thing I've done, I've done again, this is another exercise I've done in other videos, but you wanna get your finger, put it in your mouth, and say or sing the line that you need to a few times around, say 10 times over. Just one line, or even go through one song like this, or go through uh, one of your speeches all, all the way through with your finger in your mouth. After doing this, you'll notice that the articulators on the inside of the mouth have been worked a little bit harder, and so they sound crisper and sharper when you speak or sing. So then you have less uh, worry about the effort you need to do in thinking about making that happen because your body's doing it for you already. So that is my voice enhancing exercise tips for today. I hope they've been useful. Try these next time you're just about to go and speak or next time you're just about to go and sing or if you don't have much time, you could just change one or two of these things and notice how it, it, it just makes everything just a little bit better for you, all right? I really hope uh, this works out well. I'm Darren McStay, this is Improve Your Voice and until the next time, look after your voice. <laughs>